Hello students. Today I am going to discuss find out E and Z isomers. The first compound across the double bond. Here we can see there are ethyl groups and two ethyl groups in the opposite direction. So that means it is a trans isomer. Trans isomer we can write as a E isomer. Now let's find out the second compound. So here first I am going to write down the compound again. This is carbon carbon double bond. Right hand side carbon you have a C2H5. So I will be writing like CH2CH3. And here we have a CH2 CH and 2 methyl. Left hand side carbon you have a 1 carbon that is 1 hydrogen and 2 methyl. Left hand side carbon is also connected with Br and 2 hydrogen. Now in this particular alkene molecule we can see that none of the groups are equal like in the first compound we have, where we have seen there are two ethyl group and that is in the opposite direction but here we don't have like this. So then how we'll find out that it's a C trans or E or Z isomer. Now let's find out uh, that which is the higher priority group. So we'll know that how we can find out the higher priority group. So this is the carbon the left hand side carbon this carbon is connected with the carbon one carbon here also one carbon. Now this first carbon is connected with two carbons and here the first carbon is connected with one bromine and two hydrogens. So definitely bromine atomic mass is more than the carbon so that means this is the higher priority group. In the right hand side carbon here you can see this carbon carbon double bond this carbon is connected with this is the first carbon this is the first carbon. Now this first carbon is connected with only one carbon and this carbon is connected with three hydrogen. Here this first carbon is connected with one carbon but this carbon is connected with two more carbon. So that means this is the priority group. Now here we can see that two priority group in the same direction that means it is cis. Then we can say it is a Z isomer. So this kind of alkene molecule first we have to check the higher priority group and from the higher priority group we have to check that if the two priority group in the same direction then it is a cis isomer, cis isomer means Z, trans isomer means E. Now let us find out the second third compound here, third compound also we have a carbon carbon double bond. Now here you can see the left hand side carbon carbon double bond this carbon is connected this is the first carbon and this is the first carbon here but the, here the first carbon is connected with Cl but here first carbon is connected with two hydrogens. So definitely this is the higher priority group. Now in the right hand side carbon this is this carbon is this is the first carbon and here this is the first carbon. Now the first carbon is connected with 3 methyl, 3 methyl means 3 carbons here first carbon is connected with 2 hydrogen and 1 nitrogen. So the, since it is a 3 carbons are there so this is the higher priority group. Now higher priority group in the opposite direction so it is a trans, trans means E isomer. Now this is the last compound, so this is carbon carbon double bond. Now left hand side carbon is connected this is the first carbon this is also the first carbon. Now this first carbon is connected with two carbons and first carbon is connected with two hydrogens and one carbon. So that means this is the higher priority group. Now then this is carbon this carbon the right hand side carbon this is the first carbon this is the first carbon. Now first carbon is connected with one sulfur but here first carbon is connected with two hydrogen and one carbon. So definitely this is the higher priority group. Now two priority group in the opposite direction that means these are trans. 
So trans means e isomer.